Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have the ultimate Christmas tag. This tag was created by Sam over at Sam's Nonsense. First question, what are your favourite Christmas traditions slash routine? A tradition that has appeared more often in the last few years is that once we've got up, and my dad's always got us up extremely early, I think the earliest was four o'clock in the morning, but once we've got up and certain people in my house, as in everybody else, has to get up to go to work because they all work on Christmas Day. I've had a few hours on my own in which to just completely relax by myself on Christmas Day. And I quite like that, despite the fact that I'm all for family being around you at Christmas. Two is a favourite Christmas book or one you want to read. And here we're going for A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I said this much and more to me, this is the epitome of Christmas. In any video I've talked about, I've talked about the fact that this harkens back to so many of the themes that we think about within Christmas. You know, you have your ghosts, you have your family, you have all of these different units, you have the mysticism, you have the miser becoming good, and it's a story that has been taken and rewritten so many times now because it is just a classic. And as I said the first time that I read this book, as a child, I thought Charles Dickens was still alive. I thought Charles Dickens was Michael Caine because of A Muppet's Christmas Carol. Three is your first Christmas memory. And it's a bit of a sad one, so bear with me. We're going back to 1996. I am four years old, my sister is two years old, and my younger brother is still a baby, so he will not remember any of this. And me and my sister used to share a bedroom. This was when we lived in a flat. And back then there was a television show, Stars in Their Eyes, in which singers would go on and they would impersonate their favourite singers. Me and my sister liked to play that. We'd come down, we'd go down behind the curtain, come out from behind the window, no, come off the windowsill onto a set of drawers we had by the window. I told my sister to step one way to avoid falling off on top of her new doll's house. My sister got mistaken, went the other way, and at two years old fell onto the doll's house that she had only just got for Christmas, destroying it. There were tears, there were tantrums. I felt so guilty about the fact that she lost her new doll's house that I ended up getting her one for her 21st birthday that came into the charity shop. She never played with it. Four, favourite gift you've ever received. I'm going to say my computer, way back in 2010, when I'd first started university, my own computer had broken earlier that year and I was having to use my sister's that she got for college. My dad, dis my dad offered to go out and I'd pay some money and he'd pay some money for my computer and at first I said no and then I decided, well, you know what, you actually do need a computer for your uni work. So we went, we spent some money each and I got a computer. Five, your go-to genre to read at Christmas. It's got to be crime. Usually I stick to books that are set around Christmas, but for some reason I'm going with crime. Although I did used to have a big thing of reading Harry Potter at Christmas. I'd read it once in summer and then I'd read it again all the way through at Christmas. I'm talking like start to finish, whichever books were out at the time. Is there a holiday tradition you've never tried but want to? I don't actually know because I'm not sure what counts as tradition and what is just something that my family have come up with themselves. Um, if you know of a Christmas tradition, then specify it in the comments and I'll tell you whether I've tried it or not or whether I want to, because right now I'm drawing a blank. Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And for me, it's Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, to me, has always been an extremely hectic day. Um, to talk about a certain Christmas Eve, after my granddad died, way back in 2002, my nan started coming to stay with us for Christmas. And one particular... Now, she's always gone a bit mad at Christmas. We had a really large extended family, and so um, she's still got cousins that she was brought up with, and they're a bit more like brothers and sisters than usually you know usually cousins are and so one christmas eve me and my mum go to pick up my nan now we decide that we want to go early so as we can get back and we can get everything sorted for christmas because my mum isn't a planner she never has anything wrapped on christmas eve and she always does always did it when we were children when we'd gone to bed this year however she hadn't done that and this year uh, at half past 10 in the morning 
I was packed into the back seat alongside all of the presents that were supposed to be coming to my house and to all the relatives' houses we had to visit that day. So I couldn't actually get out of the vehicle. I was also put in there with a dog. 11 hours later, me and the dog finally got out of the car back home. We lived 20 minutes away. My mum was had to drive my nan around to all of her relatives' houses. They would spend about an hour at a time in there having sherry, you know, talking about Christmas, really chatting and everything, delivering presents, exchanging them. But me and the dog were still in the car. <laughs> and so eventually we made it home. And then my mother started wrapping presents in front of me. And I thought, well, that's just the illusion ruined. I mean, I know that I said that I never believed in Santa, but you know, you like the illusion that these presents are just being magicked up out of nowhere, don't you? No matter your age, I saw everything that everyone was getting. It was not surprising in the least. Eight, favourite ornament. Now, my favourite ornament is actually one that I made when I was four years old for my mother. And it's just this little painting that Charlie drew as a child and it brings back much nostalgia for me. However, my current favourite is this chicken that one of my volunteers got me last Christmas and it's just a chicken that you hang from your tree but it's too heavy for our tree and it's because she knows that I don't like chickens. I, uh, chickens, ducks, poultry, they all terrify me. And because of that, I now have a chicken ornament, and I quite like it, which is why it's now hung there. <sighs> Favourite Christmas movie? This is A Muppet's Christmas Carol, or Scrooge. I say it like that, because Charlie has childhood nostalgia for both of those films. I was introduced to Scrooge, the black and white version, by my grandmother, and remember going to her house and watching it, with her and my granddad as a child and not particularly understanding it because I was a child but she always talked about how she enjoyed that film and so there was always this closeness that I associated with that film and so for the last few years it, whenever it's come on I made a point of watching it. I feel like that Scrooge was the one that most inspired Jim Carrey's version of A Christmas Carol which I don't like. Now it asks you for your least favourite Christmas movie, Elf. Can't stand that film. Online shopping or in-store? Online. I don't like all this getting stuck in queues and everything, people battering each other in supermarkets. I like going and seeing what they've got in there. Um, you know, quite like going and looking at the Marks and Spencer's Christmas range and all the expensive stuff I'll never be able to afford. But, yeah, despite the fact that I'm really ruining things for independent shops and you know, the high street, and I'm one of those terrible people that's contributing towards the failing of the economy and everything. I don't flame it, no. Yeah, it's online. Sorry about it. Favourite Christmas song and least favourite Christmas song. My favourite Christmas song is Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues featuring Kirsty McCall. It has been four years. I will stop things to go and listen to that song. There is another one that's just slowly sneaking its way in, but it's Fairy Tale of New York. Favourite Christmas song. Everybody knows this about me. And sometimes it surprises me that I've actually revealed that to people when they tell me it's my favourite. And I'm like, oh, how did you know? And apparently, it's because Charlie never stops going on about it. Is <laughs> My least favourite Christmas song is All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah Carey. I heartily despise that song. Don't like it. But then, I also don't like Mariah Carey's music. So therefore, it's not for me. Favourite Christmas flavour. And that is gingerbread. I love gingerbread. Everyone knows this about me. German gingerbread, gingerbread lattes from Costa, just gingerbread everything. I have gingerbread tea. I suppose I ought to tag some people. Um, so, I'm going to tag Lisa of Lisa's West Coast Reads because I saw that she made one video so I imagine that means that she can make another and, and this will give her an idea of a video to make. Next I'm going to tag Dane of Dane Reads, because he's Dane. I'm going to tag my friend Lily of Lycos Reads. I'm going to tag Kate of Kate Howe, if she hasn't seen and done this already. And I'm going to tag Mal of Mal's Bookland Adventures. Five people, the one hand. Hopefully you all do it, because I really look forward to all of your content. If you want to talk about anything that I've talked about here, 
then do feel free to do so down in the comments. If you would also like to answer these questions, then I'll leave a link to Sam's original video. The questions will be there. Go and subscribe to her because she is a fantastic human being whose Vlogmas videos are, is, are brilliant and who just knows how to love Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, that is all.